here's the update video I promised. Uh, keep in mind this probably won't be very professionally made. This is just giving a general idea of what's to come this year. So anyways... Well, 2020 has officially ended and we are now in 2021. And oh boy, that last year sure was something. Of course, there was everything that happened in the outside world, which has had varying effects on pretty much everyone, mainly with a particular virus in question. Those who were affected harshly have my condolences. That said, these particular circumstances didn't have much of an effect on me personally, However, there were certain other things that did, and I don't feel like getting into the details, but needless to say, this last year was a mixed bag to say the least, with the occasional periods of sadness and whatnot. If you're wondering, I am doing better now. Putting that all aside, when it comes to YouTube, 2020 was easily the strongest year for this channel so far. February to May was a pretty productive time with some of my most memorable works coming out around those months. I have the two videos I did on Pac-Man's portrayal on Street Fighter X Tekken, which had done a lot more well than I expected. The, April's, the April Fool's Day video, the Let's Play episodes, the live streams, the discussion videos, which resonated with a lot of you, and of course there's my reviews, which have been the best they've ever been. Yes, there was some forgettable stuff at the beginning, like videos that were kind of forgettable, but for the most part, this period had some of my best works. Of course, it should be known that around May is when I took a leave of absence. The reason I took said absence had to do with two reasons. First, it's me at the time getting Vegas Pro 14 and wanting some time to get used to how it works, and the other reason had to do with some emotional turmoil I was going through and needing a break. Again, I'm not going to say what it is, and I am fine now. Regardless, this break ended up going a lot longer than expected, and I do apologize for that. There were times when I tried to get back into the swing of things with starting up scripts and stuff like that, only to have setbacks, though I would stream on occasions. October marked the five-year anniversary of this channel, and to celebrate, I would upload a compilation of moments from different videos I've made, and then do five live streams where I and two special guests, that being ShadyStone64 and Spacey McSpacer, would take an extensive look at into my past five years on this channel, going from 2015 to 2020. Those were fun to do. Then, on the 31st of December, I made my big comeback with the cynical nostalgia pandering rant. The video had one issue that has bothered me since, that being the volume on my mic, which I should have toned down in editing. But aside from that, it's easily one of my best works. It allowed me to vent my frustrations with certain series, and the presentation was the best of any video I've made. Most of all, it's a video that resonated with a lot of you guys, and that's something that really means a lot to me. So, that's the 2020 retrospective. Content-wise, it was a good year, minus the hiatus, though that made the eventual return all the more better. So now we talk about what's in store for 2021. Let's start with reviews. My next big review is in the works. You may recall me sort of talking about it and teasing it. Needless to say, it's a bit of a surprise, and I'll keep it that way until it premieres. It's something I have never really talked about before, and in many ways, I feel like I'm kind of taking a risk with it. That's all I'll say about it. I hope to have it out sometime in February. Putting that aside, there's also the Sonic Retrospective, which will be a priority this year. Especially given that this is the 30th anniversary of the series. Which would make this a good time to finish it for good. I hope to get the momentum with it back up in March with the 06 review. Now, what about other reviews? Well, I have a lot of plans where that stuff is concerned. In fact, I'll just read you a list I have down. Now, please keep in mind that I'm not making any promises here. For one, given how big the backlog is and my priorities with the Sonic Retrospective as well as other content, I doubt I'll get to all of these this year. Not to mention, one of these games is a Japanese exclusive. So, yeah. Anyways, here's the list of these upcoming reviews, in no particular order. And it goes as follows. 
Anilin, Gunlord slash Gunlord X, Crush, Jumping Flash, Soul Eater, Monotone Princess, this is the Japanese exclusive I was referring to, by the way, Pitfall, The Lost Expedition, The Blinks Duology, Jazz Jackrabbit, The Treasure Planet Game, Zero Wing, Rodea the Sky Soldier, a review of the Mega Man Anniversary Collection to see how it holds up. Pepsi Man, The Bionicle Game. Damn, this is a lot, and again, I doubt I'll get to all of those this year, but expect a decent chunk of this list being covered. There may have also been some others that I forgot, I don't know. I may even review some Namco games. I've kind of wanted to cover some of the Katamari games. I may even look into some fan games of the Pac-Man variety. Hmm... Or maybe I'll do the Pac-Man retrospe- <coughs> Oh, <laughs> sorry about that. That just came out randomly. I, I don't even know what that was. As far as general videos go, where I co- as far as general videos where I cover a wider range of topics, you know, non-reviews, I got a lot of great stuff planned. A video about Spooky, a top 10 Pac-Man levels video, a video talking about the scrapped frog pond stage from World 2. Ah, screw it. I'll just lazily say it through text. Not all of my plans are here. It's just a general idea of what's to come. And on the subject of those two series, they're coming. But I am changing the name of Packet Facts to the Beta Pack. It's a much more general name, and fits with, you know, the style of what I want to do with that sub-series. One last thing, I finally have a logo. Yeah, it looks nice, doesn't it? Special thanks to this guy for making it. And that's all for this update video. 2021 is looking to be a good year content-wise, and I'm definitely looking forward to making all those videos. That said, until then, I will see you all later.